What's up y'all, it's Jess. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a new series today from episode. It's called Ruin My Life. Listen, I just I just clicked on the, the first title that sounded interesting, okay? So no rhyme or reason as to why I chose this other than Ruin My Life sounds like a crazy title, insane title. So listen, what does it say? Blake is a smoking hot bad boy millionaire and your ex. When you start working for his dad, he's determined to get you fired. Why he got beef with me like that? Does he really hate you or does he still want you? Listen, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I know episode be taking all my money, all my money, but let's see if this one different. It's probably not, but let's see if this is different. Let's hope they don't nickel and dime me with every single choice. I've got a feeling they will, but listen, let's just see. <laughs> let's just see. Let's get into it. All right, please be advised this story may make uh, upsetting. What? <laughs> Y'all, this could be upsetting to viewers. I don't know what that even means. This is the main character of the story. You'll be playing as her. Oh, we got to change you, sis. Her default name is Lois, but you can change it if you like. We are going to change it because my name is Jess. I don't know who this Lois character is. If you nicknamed your, if you named your character Lois, the nickname can be Lois. I don't know. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, what's my nickname, y'all? Because Jess is a nickname. Jess? I ain't got no nickname. Jess is the nickname. The default last name is Bella Rose. What? <laughs> this We are Jess Suggestions. I don't know what this game is talking about. Would you like to customize your cat? Yes. Yes. Look, we got to change our skin tone, boo. All right, y'all. It's just suggestions on the scene. Perfection. How would you describe your skin tone? Dark skin. We dark skin. Okay. Beautiful girl. Let's pick out your first outfit. Oh, it said it's free. Okay. Green floral dress. Oh, my God. Why do I have this headband? We can do better. <laughs> What's the bitty romper? That looked the same. Oh. Okay. I mean, that's cute, I guess. And then a crop top with denim skirt. No, I don't like that. Let's do the romper. Yeah, I guess. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Last but not least, you want to date. Let's date, guys. Okay, this Blake, your smoking hot ex you still have feelings for. Yeah, we got to change. <laughs> not OMG. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hold on. Can we have a light-skinned man? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a skin tone. Medium? Is that what light skinned folks are? I gotta change your hair too, because we gotta change your hair. What's the afro? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I want you to have brown eyes or maybe hazel eyes. Deep hazel. Let's do deep hazel. Make you look like Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Let's be done. We done. It's perfect. Okay. He's gorgeous. You got great taste. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh, shoot. I've always... This is me, y'all. I've always considered myself a woman of my word. However, my story starts with a broken promise. The promise I gave to someone I once considered the love of my life. Okay, this is Blake. Blake said, Jess, Blake, what's up? He said, you have to promise me something. I said, anything. Look how he kissing me, y'all. He kissing my hair because I ain't even where my face at. He said, promise me, <laughs> promise me this will never end. Promise me we'll be together forever. I promise, boo. Okay, this is me as the narrator. So what went wrong, you ask? Well, it's kind of a long story. Why are we doing this? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. What happened? Okay. Okay, episode one, together forever. All right, home sweet home. The rest of the story will be set in this city. Okay. Having spent the past three years living and working abroad, I was finally back in my hometown. Um, I don't know. Let's pick Chicago. I've actually never been to Chicago, but we're going to pick Chicago. Chicago, the windy city. Okay. Chicago, I missed you. When I say I lived and worked abroad, I'm talking about uh London. I loved it there, but it doesn't compare to my native Chicago. 
As a child, I spent a lot of time in my mom's native country. I don't know. <laughs> France, I guess. Beautiful country. My mom grew up there, and in a way, I did too. But the most important thing you're going to learn about me is that I dream of owning a hotel. Okay? Everything I've ever done, I've done with this goal in mind. The reason I want to have my own business is because I'm obsessed with... Oh, I'm obsessed with money. Look at that girl, um... Smoking a cigarette behind me. <laughs> Money. But then again, who isn't? The idea of becoming rich on my own without anyone's help has always been appealing to me. But after living abroad for three years, I was so excited to see my friends and family. I have a coffee date with my college best friend Rita in an hour. But first, I'm going to take my suitcase upstairs and shower. Okay. Sometime later. Okay, Rita said, I still can't believe you're back in Chicago. It feels weird seeing you face to face. I said, are you going to miss our video calls? She said, never. So are you going to get back together with Blake now? I don't know. I don't know what happened to us. I, I'm i open to the possibility. She said, I bet you are. Uh-oh, not me rolling my eyes. <laughs> but I highly doubt I'm going to have enough time for dating now. My new job is going to be extremely demanding. I'm going to be the general manager in a luxury hotel. She says, shut up. You finally got your dream job. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's a catch, though. I'm going to work for Wonderland Hotels. Rita said, Blake's hotel chain? I said, first of all, it is not Blake's. <laughs> Girl, mind your business. It's owned by his father. She said, but Blake lives there. You're going to see him all the time. Um, I mean, it don't matter. It don't matter. My job comes first. I'm going to keep my eye on the prize. Okay, is this Blake? Oh, this Blake, y'all? I know because I've made him look like Steph Curry. I tried to make him look like Steph Curry. <laughs> is that Blake Parker Ellington in the flesh? Not Ellington. After all these years, there he was in the same cafe he used to take me for late night coffee dates. There he was looking as good as I remember, only more muscular, probably a little taller too. He had a stone-cold expression on his handsome face. I used to be able to read Blake quite well, yet I had no idea what was going through his head now. Was he happy to see me? Was he thinking I looked beautiful? And most importantly, did he miss me? I had no idea. But one thing was for sure, the second I saw Blake, I realized just how much I missed him. The thing I missed most about Blake was that he could always put a smile on my face. No one had ever made me laugh and smile as much as Blake did. Even when I was really sad and it felt like nothing could make me better, Blake did. And that was the reason I had half a mind to approach Blake and say hi to him. But before I was able to muster my courage to go talk to Blake, he left the cafe. Not him seeing me and then leaving. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Um, oh, I guess I got to go after him. Uh, I don't know. Follow him? <laughs> Not me leaving, my friend. Oh, okay. I said, I'll be right back, Rita. Bye, girl. Okay. Oh, shoot. I said, Blake. He said, hello, Jess. Hey. I can't believe this is really you. Isn't it strange how both of us happened to come to Moonscape Cafe at the same time? He said, very, considering that I thought you were in London up until two minutes ago. I said, I was, but I'm back in Chicago now. I'm home, boo. He said, are you just visiting or... Nope, it's permanent. It's permanent. I got a job. He said, I see. I said, I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but it's really great seeing you. I'm glad we ran into each other. And you look, well, incredible. He said, so do you. I love your outfit. Thanks, boo. You haven't changed a bit, yet somehow you look even more beautiful now. Thank you, boo. Hey, you want to? Oh, oh, shoot. Who is, who is this? A random girl said, Blake. Blake said, there you are, baby. Baby? Who is this? Right. <laughs> baby who? Who is this? She said, who's the woman you talking to? Mind your business. Blake said, she's just an old friend. Oh, an old friend. He said, you ready to go? She said, did you get our drinks? No. He said, they didn't have any chai tea lattes. We'll try another coffee shop. See you around, Jess. Who is this? 
So he has a new girlfriend. Of course he does. Oh, I want to fight her. Let's fight her. Let's do it. <laughs> I know it's messed up and she's done nothing wrong, but I can't help to hate her already. Right. I'm jealous and I want to fight her. Right. Let's fight her, which I'm obviously not going to do. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Suggestions say fight. Suggestions, the person controlling you, I say fight her. Okay, here I is Rita pregnant? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Why she rub her back like that? She said, "Why the sad face, babe?" I said, "I just met Blake's new girlfriend." No, you didn't. You just saw her. <laughs> you already know that girl name. She said, "Honey, Blake doesn't have a girlfriend." If you like, I could tell you a bit more about Blake's love life. How you know? The father of my unborn baby is still best friends with Blake, so I hear things. He ain't got no name. The father of your baby ain't got no name. <laughs> Calculating your Blake points. I got... Your Blake points are high enough to know about... Okay. Tell me everything you know. Rita said you were Blake's last girlfriend. Okay. He ain't been with nobody since me? She said no. Of course he has. But they were all meaningless flings and one night stands. Rita, how do you know about my man? <laughs> how do you know? She said he never dates them for longer than a week, nor does he remember their names afterwards. Is, is Blake your baby daddy? Because how you know? <laughs> Y'all, how do Rita know about my man's flings? How does she know that? I take it Blake has reverted to his old player ways. She said he has, but I don't think he's truly trusted another woman since you. You could say that he still hasn't fully recovered from your breakup. Okay, I don't even know what to say. I hate the fact that I've hurt Blake so much. She said, yet yeah, you're happy he hasn't forgotten you, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Thank you for telling me about it. <laughs> she said, that's what best friends are for. Thank you, boo. It's great seeing you, Rita. I got to go now. Got a job. Right. I'm going to start my new job on Monday, and there's still quite a few things I need to do before then. She said, I hope we can hang out again soon. Good luck with your job. All right. Good luck with your baby, girl. Thank you, love. I have a feeling I might need it. She said, you'll be fine. Okay, yes, you are going to run into Blake. It's time to get ready for your first day at work. Okay. I got two premium business wardrobes to choose from. Oh, shoot. Here we go with the... <laughs> We're paying for stuff. The first wardrobe is called the Strictly Business Wardrobe. You'll be able to wear all these outfits within the next few episodes. Okay. You'll get the main outfits plus the super additional cute outfit for free i like that that's cute the second wardrobe is called the feisty business wardrobe you'll be able to wear these outfits within the next few episodes i don't really like that one i like the other one the other one looked more general managery do i have to pay for these i told y'all <laughs> I told y'all. All right, y'all. I'm going to try. I'm really going to try to to not spend all my money on gyms for this one. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see because I want that strictly business wardrobe. Okay, I got points. I got cool points too. All right. Okay, look at me. I'm ready to rock and roll. Look, we cute. Okay, this hotel is just as majestic as it was the last time I was here. That was when Blake brought me here. I still remember that day. Okay, I unlocked the flashback. Oh, okay, because I, cause I spent money. All right, <laughs> this is a flashback, y'all. Blake said, so this is the place I'm going to own one day. Isn't it dope? It's pretty dope, but I wish you told me where we were going so I could have worn something more presentable. I feel so underdressed in this fancy hotel. He said, Jess, you're the most beautiful girl in every room, no matter what you're wearing. Thank you, boo. And I love those jeans on you. I said, you're just trying to get me out of them. He said, always. <laughs> Would you like to see the terrace next? The view from the top floor is amazing. You're going to love it. This way. Okay, you were right. This hotel is something else, Blake. Being able to stay here whenever you please must be really nice. He said, it's all right. I said, are you excited to take over your father's business? He said, excited is probably an overstatement. After all, can you be excited to do something you've been expected to do since the day you were born? I said, well, you're expected to be a hotel owner. The answer is hell yes. He said, I feel like you'd enjoy it way more than me. 
you'd be better at it too. I said, you don't give yourself enough credit, Blake. I'm sure you'll do great when the time comes. He said, I will with you by my side. Not you in love. <laughs> Not you in love with me. He said, now tell me, Jess, are you excited to own half the Wonderland Hotels chain? Half the chain? You trying to marry me? Right. You ready if we ever got married? He said, not ever. I am going to marry you. And who knows? Maybe I'll even marry you in this hotel. Okay. Good old times. The good times. That was a flashback. I used to be so happy with Blake. Our relationship was actually perfect. But I'm not getting paid to reminisce about the past. I better go find Tony. Okay. Hello. Hi there. This is Ange. Ange said, good morning, ma'am. Welcome to Wonderland Hotels. How can I help you? It's my first day. I'm a new employee and I was wondering if you could tell me where Tony Ellington is. She said, oh, you must be the new general manager. We've been expecting you, ma'am. I am indeed. She said, it's a pleasure to meet you. We've been told you're going to be the best thing that's ever happened to this hotel. Well, you know, you know, I'll try my best. She said, can I just say, I absolutely love your outfit. Is that apparata? Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite brand. You can never go wrong with Epirata. She said, you are such an icon and I can't wait to work with you. I mean, girl, listen, you better recognize. You better recognize. I said, as much as I appreciate your kind words, I still like to speak to Tony Ellington, please. Girl, go get your boss. She said, I'm afraid Tony is currently unavailable. What you mean he unavailable on my first day? Oh, he said that. <laughs> But I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have and show you around. Who are you? Harlan Ellington to your service. Who is this? I oversee things around here and make sure the hotel runs smoothly. That's Blake's uncle. I didn't realize he worked here. Okay. He said, before we begin our tour, can I just say you look quite lovely? Look, don't, uh, don't be hitting on me. I'm in love with your nephew, sir. Thank you. He said, I'm not trying to weird you out, but as the general manager, you're the face of this hotel. Needless to say, you need to dress the part, and you most definitely did. Okay. Look, y'all, we cute. He said, anyway, shall we? All right, this is going to be your office. Okay. It's boring in here. <laughs> we need some pictures and stuff. Yikes. I don't mean to start complaining on my first day, but is this really my office? <laughs> y'all couldn't do better than this. This in the basement. He said, you're right. This office is hardly fit for a general manager. I had no idea what Tony was thinking. Luckily, there is one more office available. It's going to cost money. How about now? Look at this, y'all. I bet it costs money. I bet it costs gems. This is much better. He said, I thought you might like it. So which office you going to take? It's a no-brainer to me, but the decision is yours. Okay, I feel like Harlan is going to respect me way more if I decide to keep this nice office. How much do it cost? How much does it cost, Jess? I told you. <laughs> I told you. This will be my office for the rest of the story. Y'all. Wait, what that say? If you choose this office, you'll get extra job points, make a great first impression on Harlan, and unlock an exclusive scene with Blake in episode two. I guess. I guess we got to get this office. <laughs> it's a no-brainer. I'm definitely keeping this office. Why do I have to pay to to get a new office? This sounds like a scam. This is already a scam. This job is already a, a money laundering scheme, Harlan. Harlan said, I'm glad you are. I'd feel so bad for you if you were stuck in that smelly, horrible office. You the one took me there. Trust me, I feel bad for myself too. He said, now that we've sorted your office out, let's get down to business. Since today is your first day here, all I need you to do is make yourself familiar with the surroundings, as well as read up on the hotel and some of our high-profile guests. I'm going to introduce you to the staff tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. He said, one more thing. I'm aware of your past with Blake, but I trust you'll keep things professional. Is he asking if I could be mature around Blake? Listen, professional is my middle name. He said, that's good to hear. Find me if you need anything. Okay. That's what Harlan Ellington is like. Him and Blake aren't close, so I never met him before. I don't know. He is kind of cute. He is kind of cute. If things don't work out with Blake, then listen. <laughs> um, He seemed nice enough, I guess. 
I ain't spent enough time around him to form a proper opinion, but he's he nice enough, I guess. I'm sure working with him won't be too bad. Anyway, I have quite a few files to study, so I better get started. Okay. I've been here for what feels like forever. I need to take a break before my head explodes. It might be a good time for me to go for a walk and familiarize myself with the surroundings. Okay, why am I dusting myself off like this? <laughs> okay, so this is a lobby bar. All right, it's not what I was looking for, but since I'm here, I might as well have a drink. Not you drinking on the job, Jess. <laughs> not you drinking. Hello, my name is Suggestions. My name is Jess Suggestions. I'm the new general manager. Jen said, nice to meet you, Miss Suggestions. I'm Jen Martinez. I'm a bartender. Okay, give me a drink, girl. Great meeting you, too. Would you mind making me... Oh, okay. I thought we were drinking drink drinks. <laughs> I was about to say, give me a margarita. I kind of want a tea. Can you give me a black tea, please? I like my tea strong. No sugar with a dash of milk. She said, coming right up. Okay. Jen said, here's your strong tea with no sugar and a dash of milk. Enjoy. Thank you. I, I actually like my sugar. I mean, my tea with sugar. Hey, um, hey, Blake. Blake said, so we meet again. Yep. Hey. <laughs> he said, it almost feels like you're stalking me. No, I got a job. You wish, Blake. I bet you like that. He said, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. Now, do you want to tell me what you're doing at my hotel? This is my hotel. I'm the general manager around here. I'm, I'm the law around here. I work here. <laughs> I work here now. I'm the new general manager. If this was your hotel, you would know that. <laughs> Blake, you gonna say something? Why everybody be dusting themselves? Why he walk away from me like that? <laughs> Why did he walk away from me like this? I guess not. I guess y'all want to say something. Jen said, not that it's any of my business, but I take it you and Blake know each other. Girl, you right. It's none of your business. It is none of your business. You can say that. Blake and I dated for a year and a half in college. She said, were you too serious? Yeah, we were. I, it was perfect. Our relationship was perfect. I know there's no such thing as perfect, but our relationship was. Sadly, it didn't work out. I put my career first and left Blake behind. She said, I'm sorry to hear that. I said, it's fine. It was my choice and I have to live with it now. She said, you know, if you ever want to talk about it some more, I'm happy to lend an ear. And you won't need to worry about me blabbing your secrets out. I'm bound by the bartender code. Okay. What happens in the bar stays in the bar. Thank you, sis. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it, girl. She said, anytime, ma'am. Don't mail me. I'm young. <laughs> Call me Jess. Got me a friend, y'all. Okay, this is later. What am I doing? Oh, this is my office. What is it over there? What's what? Join me for dinner tonight at 7 at the hotel restaurant. I'd appreciate it if you wore one of those dresses I had bought for you. I've had bought for you. Who is this? I could have sworn I locked my office. It had to be Blake, didn't it? Whoever sent me this must have a spare key, right? I don't think I don't think it's Blake. <laughs> and I don't think it's Blake, but he he want to spend some time with me. He feeling the kid. You know what I'm saying? Maybe reconcile. We'll see. It's nearly half past six, so I should start getting ready. Okay. If you wear one of the premium outfits, you'll get both an additional Blake and job point as well as impress someone important. Why do I need to, do I need to buy more recommended hairstyle? What Y'all, what? <laughs> as a bonus, you'll be able to access the special hair library. What's my options? Y'all are, y'all playing. Oh, that's cute. That's cute too. Y'all know, y'all remember from the last series, I love a red now. I love red stuff. That's cute, too. I like them shoes. Y'all, what do I wear? I kind of like this one. It's giving... It's it's giving rock star. Movie star. You know what I'm saying? But I like the red, though. I kind of like this red. We're going to go with the red. Do I have to pay for it? Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Why do I have to wear it? Why do I have to buy stuff? Why do I have to keep buying things? It's the first episode. Okay, I'm about to buy this. <laughs> I'm about to buy it. Now we're gonna do the low bun. Let's do this one. This is the one. Okay, here goes nothing. Y'all look at me, we cute. It's weird, Blake isn't here yet. Who is this? The only person who's here is his dad. Did his daddy write me that note? Ah, Jess, perfect timing. Yeah, look at this man's head. He got a receding hairline. What is this? He got this George Jefferson hairstyle going on. Boy, I'm about to roast you. <laughs> Mr. Allington, you the one sent me that note. He said, of course it was me. Take a seat. Had I known that, I would have... I'd have wore my regular outfit. I thought I was getting dressed for my man. He said, I see you've decided to wear one of the dresses I sent you. I did. Are we on a date or what? It was stunning. I couldn't resist the temptation. He said, good call. You look very nice. Just perfect for the occasion. What occasion? He said, why our reunion dinner, of course. What reunion dinner? Just me and you? <laughs> and me. Okay. That's my man. Just when I stopped hoping he'd be here. Okay. Blake is, what is the reunion dinner? Me, my ex, and his dad are a bit of weird mix of people. I wonder what Tony has planned for his dinner. I really hope it doesn't turn out to be too awkward. He said, you're late, Blake. Blake said, you should be grateful I even decided to show up to this. <laughs> I have a million better things to do than to have dinner with my father and my ex. And he said, for the love of God, just sit down. Okay, y'all, I guess we've been eating. Tony said, isn't it nice the three of us having dinner together? It's just like good old times. Blake said, you literally had dinner with us like two times. <laughs> he said, it was still nice. He said, and you were on your phone the whole time. Why is Blake roasting Tony? All right, y'all, Blake need to turn it down a notch because this is my boss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to turn it down a notch. I don't think such unimportant details from the past matter much. After all, it happened ages ago. Blake gonna get pissed off. <laughs> Tony said, thank you, Jess. I completely agree with you. Blake said, of course you do. Come on, Dad. Tell us the real reason we're here. Let's get this charade over with. He said, since my son can't tolerate spending more than half an hour in my presence, I'll get down to business. Not sure if you've heard it yet, Blake, but Jess is gonna work in the hotel starting today. Since you two will be seeing a lot of each other, I'd really appreciate it if you could be civil with one another. And when I say I'd appreciate it, I'm merely being polite. <laughs> this is not a request, and you have to find a way to coexist together. Blake said, fine by me. I don't have a problem with Jess. I don't either. I don't either. I'm happy to get along with Blake if he is. Blake said, I get along with everyone. I'm a friendly guy. Tony said, great. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Okay, this is after the dinner. Why is Blake... What's wrong with you? What you doing? He said, there's something I need to tell you. What? What are you going to tell me? Oh, that's the end of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got five out of nine Blake points. And seven out of eight job points. Okay. Make sure to accumulate as many points as possible to unlock all the bonus scenes and get the best ending. Okay, y'all just want more money out of me, episode. <laughs> that's all y'all want.